Welcome back, friends. We're here to do our third read of our story of the week, My Lucky Day by Kiko Kaza. As always, focus your attention, concentrate, use your eyes, ears, and brain, and ignore distractions. Let's begin. My Lucky Day by Kiko Kaza. One day, a hungry fox was preparing to hunt for his dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock at the door. Readers, why is the fox sharpening his claws? Yes, he's going out hunting. Hey, rabbit, someone yelled outside. Are you home? Rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I'd have eaten them for breakfast. Readers, whoever is at the door, do you think they're at the wrong house? How do you know? Who does he call for? He says, rabbit. But does a rabbit live there? Nope. When the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no, screamed the piglet. Oh yes, cried the fox. You've come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and hauled him inside. Readers, the piglet realizes he's come to the wrong house. But why does the fox say that the piglet has come to the right place? That's right, because fox was going out hunting. Now he doesn't have to. This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and squealed. Let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner. It's a pig roast, my favorite. Now get into this roasting pan. Uh-oh. The fox thinks this is his lucky day. Why does he think that? Do you think this is why the title of the story is My Lucky Day? Why or why not? Yeah. It's somebody's lucky day, that's for sure. It was useless to struggle. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but there's just one thing. What, growled the fox. Well, I I'm a pig, you know, I'm filthy. Shouldn't you wash me first? Uh, just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself, he is filthy. Readers, why do you think the piglet is so filthy? Right, he was probably rolling around in the mud. I know the piglets and pigs love to do this. So the fox got busy. He collected twigs. He made a fire, he carried in the water, and finally he gave the piglet a nice bath. You're a terrific scrubber, said the piglet. Readers, the fox ties up the piglet while he's getting the bath ready. Did you notice that? It's in the picture here, right there. Why do you think the fox does that? I agree to make sure Piglet doesn't get away. It's his dinner, remember? There, said the fox. Now you're the cleanest Piglet in the county. You stay still now. All right, sighed the Piglet. I will, but... But what? growled the fox. Well, I'm a very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fatten me up to get more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself, he is on the small side. Readers, why do you think the piglet keeps telling the fox things to do before he cooks the piglet? So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes. He made spaghetti, he baked cookies, 
And finally, he gave the piglet a nice dinner. You're a terrific cook, said the piglet. Readers, why does the piglet tell the fox that fox is a terrific cook? I think that meal looks delicious. And he picked fresh tomatoes. That has to be amazing. And he baked fresh cookies. I agree. He probably is having a delicious meal. There, said the fox. Now you're the fattest piglet in the county. So get into the oven. All right, said the piglet. I will. But... What? 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 shouted the fox. Well, I'm a hard-working pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Shouldn't you massage me first to make a more tender roast? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Mm. The fox said to himself, I do prefer tender meat. Readers, what does the piglet think up to stop the fox from cooking him this time? Right, he says he needs a massage because his muscles and his meat are all tough and hard. And also maybe he wants to get a massage. So the fox got busy. He pushed and he pulled. He squeezed and he pounded the piglet from head to toe. You give a terrific massage, said the piglet. Readers, how do you think the fox is feeling? Can you focus your attention on the illustrations? He's sweating and he's moving around so much. I think he's getting tired. Me too. Would you be tired? <laughs> but, Piglet continued, I've been working really hard lately. My back is awfully stiff. Could you push a little bit harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right, please? Yes. Yes, just a little to the left. Readers, do you think that the piglet is still scared of the fox? He's relaxing, right? And he's letting the fox rub his body everywhere. And it's not afraid that fox is going to do something to him. And also, Fox is getting real tired. Mr. Fox, are you there? Readers, focus your attention on Piglet. How is Piglet feeling now? I agree, so relaxed, so comfortable. What about Mr. Fox? Let's find out. But Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, sighed the piglet. He's had a busy day. Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. Readers, how is the way the fox is feeling different from the way Piglet is feeling? You are right. Piglet is relaxed and comfortable and the fox is whew, exhausted. What a bath, what a dinner, what a massage, cried the Piglet. This must be my lucky day. Readers, are you surprised that it was the piglet's lucky day instead of the fox's lucky day? Me too. At the beginning of the story, when the fox opens the door, the piglet looks very surprised and very scared. I thought it would be the fox's lucky day, but instead, it's the piglet's lucky day. When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Let's see, he wondered, looking at his address book. Who shall I visit next? Readers, 
what makes you think that maybe the piglet planned to visit the fox after all? Let's focus attention on the picture here. He's got this map and he's making some notes, marking the places that these animals live. Fox, wolf, bear. Do you think maybe he's planning this all along? Hmm, me too. Sneaky piglet. Who is he visiting next? The bear. Readers, do you think the piglet will do to the bear the same things he did to the fox? What makes you think so? This looks a lot like the beginning of the story, doesn't it? The piglet is filthy. He's pretending to be surprised. Mm-hmm. Readers, we've come to the end of our story. Thank you for focusing your attention. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Remember, stay healthy, helpful, and calm. See you soon.